Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It's not always simple to do the right thing, especially when you're not exactly sure what that is. That's the quandary facing Ridge on the bold and the beautiful right now, after the big fashion showdown concluded with two things being very evident to him. He won the competition. Eric, his father, is dying. Right now, just a few people are aware of the second truth, and only Ridge and Carter are aware of the first. What will Ridge do now is the question. Is it right for him to swallow his pride and tell his father that he has won? Because it's become plainly evident that Eric's unexpected mortality is the reason he's been so frantic to win and prove that he still has it even at the end. He may go out in style and die knowing that he is still relevant. That is true whether he wins or loses, but Ridge now knows why Eric was so determined to win. Even if he didn't officially win, he can show his devotion by giving his father's wish. Is it the correct thing to do? Would Eric truly want to be spoiled and lied to at the end? And what if the truth eventually gets out before he dies? That could devastate his and Ridge's relationship before they get a chance to mend it. And wouldn't it be good for Ridge to win and comfort his father that the company will be in good hands after he's gone? It's true that doing the right thing is never easy. And we wouldn't want to be in Ridge's shoes right now for anything. Even in the best of circumstances, it is difficult to think clearly when faced with the death of a loved one. But we don't have nearly as much invested in this decision as Ridge does, and we're not even sure what the proper thing is. Can Deacon and Shayla make it until the end of Bold and Beautiful? Curious minds desire to know. Even the actor who plays one of them is wondering what the future holds for the strange coupling. Viewers of Bold and Beautiful her wide range of opinions on what should happen to the couple, including many who believe that the soap attempting to redeem a character as distasteful as Shayla, who has such a long and indisputable track record of being horrible, is manifestly ludicrous, not to mention undesirable. Other bold and beautiful fans believe Shayla's improved behavior is temporary and that her relationship with Deacon is untainable in the long run. Will he come to regret his decision when all is said and done? Very possibly. Others believe that the tide has shifted more firmly in Shayla's favor, for better or worse, and that her days as scaring people are over. At least one fan is hoping against hope that Deacon is not playing Shayla in the same way as Bill did, predicting that there will be some very upset Shayla and Deacon fans. While there were some tells with Bill, Deacon's love for his ostensibly irresistible, nine-toed fiancé seemed to be entirely Q9. Having said that, even seen Cannon, who plays Deacon, is unsure where the tale will take the two. In a Twitter response to a Shikon fan, the actress stated, I'm interested to find out too. Cannon appears to be having a good time. On Bold and Beautiful, what do you think will happen to Deacon and Sheila? Is it possible that it will last? Is Sheila really going to change her ways? Use the comment area to voice your opinion. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, R.J. Forrester and Luna Nozawa's romance is going well, but the show will have to place some roadblocks in their way eventually. Of course, one simple way to accomplish this is to include another potential suitor in the mix for Luna. Zend Forrester Dominguez has made an on-screen return for all of the fashion show action, so B&B &B writers may start employing him more frequently. Luna interacted with Zend several times during the fashion show, including one nearly flirtatious offer. Zend encouraged Luna to join the rest of the team for drinks, so it's wonderful that he's making an effort to make her feel included. There's a chance Zend would desire to get to know Luna on a more personal level as well. Luna is a wonderful young woman who is passionate about design, therefore she would have a lot in common with Zend, who is also passionate about fashion. RG defied Lee Finnegan for Luna and has been sweeping her off her feet, but he won't be the only Forrester designer who catches her attention. If the program expands on their initial contacts, Luna may develop affections for Zend. It would be easy for B and B writers to allow Luna to build a friendship with Zend that may lead to much more. 
Naturally, this would be another cause for Lai to lash out and pretend Luna is just picking conquests to help her advance a forester creations. Lai would undoubtedly compare Luna to Poppy Nozawa and act as if Luna were her mother's true daughter. If the program performed as Zend, Luna, and RG Triangle, there would be plenty of dramatic potential. Zend and Paris Buckingham's romance never worked out, so the show might as well try Zend and Luna. However, RJ may emerge as the victor of that love triangle, leaving Zend heartbroken as usual. In this instance, Zend would most likely be the intruder, rather than the man who is supposed to be Luna's endgame. Regardless, many fans have commented on Luna and Zend's chemistry, so it may be worth investigating further down the road. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Luna and RJ's future may be jeopardized, so stay tuned for updates on if Send may cause a love triangle and deliver terrible news for RJ. CDL is the place to be for fantastic. Katie Logan introduced the final of the design numbers, including one that absolutely knocked Esther Valentine's socks off, according to the bold and the beautiful spoilers for Tuesday, October. Katie asked all of the attendees to place their orders before it was too late after the fashion presentation. Ridge Forrester approached Eric Forrester behind the scenes and extended his hand to his father. Eric nodded and shook his head as Ridge remarked, May the best man win. Eric coughed and seemed deep in contemplation when he was alone again. When Carter Walton indicated he'd be tabulating the orders soon, Ridge pushed Carter to simply tell him he'd won. Carter predicted that tallying up the official results would be difficult. When Eric and Donna Logan emerged from the backstage area, it was evident that they, too, were eager to see the outcome. Meanwhile, Lauren Fenmore Baldwin drove Esther to Ridge because Esther insisted on delivering her order in person. Countess von Frankfurt arrived with her order and ordered the same attire as Esther. Because Countess von Frankfurt was a powerful sponsor, she refused to wear a gown owned by this simpleton. Ridge urged that Esther put in her request first so that she might have the gown. Countess von Frankfurt was so offended that she threatened to never buy another Forrester original or shop at Fenmore's again. Ridge and Lauren didn't seem to mind, especially because Esther was ecstatic about her new gown. Esther agreed to return to Los Angeles for the fitting and possibly dinner, but she was ready to return to Geno City for the time being. Charlie Weber eventually approached Esther, and they hoped to meet again when she returned to Los Angeles. Charlie drew Esther into a big kiss before she departed. Esther was so agitated that she almost forgot about her gown, but Charlie reminded her to take it and received another kiss on the cheek. On Tuesday's B&B show, Zend Forrester Dominguez invited Luna Nozawa to join the rest of the team for drinks later. Eric stared at the empty chairs under dim lights after everyone had departed the fashion show area, imagining his sparkling gowns being displayed once more. Donna approached Eric and held him tight as he reminisced on his last hurrah. Eric discussed his final collection and how he needed to win this battle to keep his position as the founder of Forrester Creations. Donna had a heartfelt embrace with the man she loved after Eric claimed Ridge couldn't take that away from him. Ridge offered someone a phone quote for a news story and questioned Carter about the fashion feud results in the main office. Carter admitted that one collection was sold out while the other was not. Ridge assumed he had won, so he pressed Carter to inform him he had defeated his grandfather. Carter appeared to be contemplating the results and the secret he was now harboring, Brooke Logan interrupted R.J. Forrester's intimate moment with Luna to praise him on a fantastic performance. Brooke told R.J. privately that Luna seemed like a nice girl and that she could see they cared for each other. Brooke, on the other hand, was there because she was concerned about Eric and could see something was worrying R.J. R.J. ultimately buckled under Brooke's strain and admitted that he couldn't keep this secret any longer. R.J. went on to say that Brooke, Ridge, and the rest of the family needed to know something. R.G. swore he had wanted to tell Brooke earlier, and Donna agreed. Brooke could sense this was weighing heavily on R.J., so she persuaded him to simply talk to her. 
Archie revealed that Eric kept referring to this as his grand final because he was dying. Brooke was taken aback by Archie's updates and gaped as she struggled to digest this terrible news. According to the bold and the beautiful teasers, RG will have more to explain, so stay tuned to the CBS soap. CTO will have all of the newest models. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.